Welcome back to Live It Up. Now, this is the section of the show that I really like because I get to introduce you to my fellow world record holders. Some of them I know, some of them I don't know. Now, this is the first time I'm actually meeting Dave Farrell, and that's why I had to look down and get his name. But this is what <laughs> I'll help you with he, that. Okay, that, he's here, see, because it's a memory. Now, this is what he's here for. He's an author, he's a speaker, and he's listed in the 2009 Guinness Book of World Records for memorizing and recalling the exact order of 59 decks of cards the first time seeing it out. Now, how many cards is that? I don't even know. 3,068 cards. 3,068 cards. That's a lot of cards. Okay. <laughs> so now he's here, and he does television, he does radio, he's got a CD set out. We're going to be talking about all that. And uh, But first of all, now, I understand that at one point in life, it was not so easy for you to memorize. No, things. absolutely. Yeah, I was in high school, uh, going into grade 9, you know, 16 years old, and I literally had a teacher pull me aside and say, why are you trying so hard? You're not going to go to college. You're not going to go to university. Nice. I mean, it, was, it was that idea that you're hardwired with a certain level of memory and I actually had uh, ADHD and dyslexia these are real things I still wow. you know I still have to overcome them but uh, like I still deal with them regularly but there are techniques that you can use to overcome these issues and when it comes to memory it's 100% a skill it is not something you're born with it's not something you can expect to, to, to naturally be good so at you can just change it you're you can you teach yourself claim, how to uh, you have a bad memory you can get a good memory anybody listening right now anybody watching can have a better memory than me all I ask is you don't break my record, okay? Because it took a that's lot. That's good, because I don't want people that. breaking my record. Right, exactly, I know. That's, that's <laughs> so that's my caveat. We'll have a deal. If you make this deal, we make this deal. Right. Now, now, this is the thing. So, and, and it could be in anything. It could be in objects. It could be in faces. It could be in memorizing scripts. I you know, sometimes have to memorize yeah, scripts. Yeah. How, how do you memorize a script with every, every single word? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I've, I've worked with uh, with a lot of actors, actually, uh, mm -hmm. uh, some pretty famous ones, actually. Uh, the main thing with memorizing script is you don't have to memorize every single word in order to memorize it word for word. That's actually a bit of a really? misunderstanding. When you try to memorize things word for word, that is, you memorize all the ifs, ands, buts, the... It's too complicated. Your mind would have already gotten those anyways, mm -hmm. and you sound like a robot. So what we do with memory experts is we pick out the keywords, and as you get better at this, you'll find that you can do less and less keywords, and the keyword is a word that reminds you of the whole sentence. Okay. And then we link those keywords together, just like we're going to do a little demonstration here, and you can go through like pages and pages of scripts and know it right off the top of your head, as if there's somebody right beside you. Now, okay, so you could, uh, you, you have, could show us a demonstration. Yeah, yeah, we're actually going to triple your memory right here and now. This is a standard test for memory. This is what he if, says. If you have to, no, seriously, if you have to, uh, to, to take a health insurance insurance policy. Uh, oftentimes they'll give you this test. If you have to apply for certain government jobs, they'll give you this test. The test is... Uh, the, the, now the, I feel the, pressure. Well, now the, I feel like I can't pass a government yo, job you if could, I don't You'll do great. This. You'll do great. Okay. So here's the, the test basically is a doctor would say a list of 10 things, for example, then say, okay, how many do you recall of those? Most people would score about five. I'm going to show you the secret is how you can get all of them, and you could do 15, 20, 100. We do them every single day. So okay. we got we got 10 objects here on the table, all right. and in order to memorize something, you have to go in order. So the order we're going to start with is this uh, Kleenex box okay. and the next item is a cell phone. The What would go on in my head is I would imagine that I have an amazing cell phone that I can get Kleenexes from anytime I want and that sort of you know silly invention. Okay, so it's would, coming out of there? It's right, coming out of right. there. Okay. And, and that would stick in my mind and thus it would link these two things together. We, okay. need, we need to do more though. Kleenexes. Cell phone and a flower. Imagine somebody uh, sends flowers to your house and they're ringing. They're like electronic flowers and they've, okay, they've so got a little... Flowers, it, flowers are basically a, a people phone. People at home, help me you out here. Listen you go, hello? Okay. Hello? You know, okay. it's like it's like a, a phone is your is your flowers, and uh, then we have this little uh, this little doodad it. thing here, the it. So imagine somebody took this it and put it around the flowers. When it came when it came over to your house, they had a whole bunch of these around every single flower, and you're like, what is this thing? It's like this and taking up so much it's, space. That's what it is. So it's it gets you so frustrated, you throw it at this mirror and smash it into a million pieces. So you just got seven years bad luck because of it. Okay. <laughs> and, well, good luck. Maybe we do the opposite. There you go. Okay. And the next item is a brush. So, so we could uh, imagine. How about a, if we brush the pieces off yeah, the mirror? Imagine okay. like you got you got to sweep them up so that okay. it doesn't get anybody damaged. Or you could imagine uh, using the brush while you're looking in the mirror. Oh, just right, a little bandage go. going on. Okay, there you yeah. go. The next one is a little thumb drive here. A lot of people have these. Imagine if every brush had a thumb drive. It's every like a new a invention. Drive. All right. This is just a, this is my link. You can come up with your own way of doing it. This is just the way I would do it. So every every brush has a thumb drive in it. Uh, the next one is a banana. Well, if you have to hide your important information, put a, put it inside a banana, and then you'll never you'll never uh, forget it. Uh, you got a knife. Imagine cutting open a banana with a knife. That'd be the silliest thing in the world. And finally, my millionaire memory pro. 
program, a six CD program. Packaging is so tough nowadays, you gotta use a knife to open it up. And just by picturing all those things, I think you'll do really well. And how well do you think you'll, you, you do this? I don't here? know, well, let's see. All right, so all right. I know without looking. So close your eyes, close your eyes. Oh, close your eyes, why? Close I can't, eyes. I, I, no peripheral? All right. all right, here we go. The first all item right. is what? Okay, so we have the tissue box and the cell phone. And then follow the flower. along. Yep. The tissue box, the cell phone, the flower, the it, and then what came after the it, and then the mirror, That's and right, then the mirror, the, um, the mirror, and then the brush, and you then the brush, the and brush. then the wait, you're confusing me. And yeah. then the brush, and then the drive, and the drive goes in the banana, and the banana gets opened up with the knife, and the knife opens up the CD millionaire. There you go, okay, millionaire there memory. Millionaire memory, she, except she that's what I forgot. There you go. <laughs> Great. That's all right, that's all right. Right. And, and of course, you can find out a lot more on millionairememory.com. Right, and you could go to live it up. T Live it up TV show.com and there'll be a link and you're gonna give tips yeah actually yeah we have we have tips on uh, on how to improve your memory uh, right on the website and, and we have them uh, right here go to our website and you'll find out more David thank you so much thank for you coming. so much okay that is your name pleasure. David yes I, it I is just yeah. to make sure thank you. okay thank <laughs> I you answered I, a hey you come back <laughs> hey you I answered anything too come back Donna Drake up next